I'm gonna play you a little bit of a song that I use. Well, everybody's got a way to make their music. I think the responses your body has to music. We all feel it as musicians and as music lovers, but then actually finding out, you know, the chemical reactions and the part of your brain, your entire brain is activated when you're making music or when you're listening to music. And that was really, really interesting to learn about. Music therapy as a career basically gives you the opportunity to do something you love, but to put it to a use that you can actually see in action. Um, and because it's such a growing field, there are a lot of opportunities to find work as a music therapist. I think if you're interested in pursuing music therapy, you better practice your instruments. It is so important to be competent. One really cool thing we did during my internship was we had a basket filled with words and we'd pull out a paper and for example it would say traffic jam and we had to improvise the sound of a traffic jam because let's say someone comes into the room and they're screaming and hollering and their arms are flailing and you can't just sit there and play like a pretty little lullaby you have to meet them where they are so learn how to make music in many many different styles and be comfortable enough with your playing so that you can, you know, hold a conversation with someone while you're playing or sing along and make up words. It's really important to be well versed in all kinds of music. We play familiar pop songs, we play rock songs, we play folk songs, we play classic rock. Working in a multicultural inner city hospital, sometimes like a Haitian family would show up and all of a sudden have this rhythm that I'd never heard before. And if I just sat back and was like, oh my goodness, I can't play along, you know, the session would no longer be something that I was facilitating. So I was thrown into the moment and had to follow along and learn the rhythms. So I learned a lot about, you know, R&B rhythms and rap and jazz and Caribbean music and Latin music. I like to use songs that have structure but are also very flexible. Um, so this next song is one that I use for my groups with kids with cerebral palsy um, who love to dance. It's time to dance, 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 dance. It's time to dance. I can just think of every single person I've worked with and the way their face changes when they see the guitar, when they hear that first chord. You know, somebody who never makes a sound and all of a sudden they hear you singing and they sing along. I've seen kids say their first word. I've seen somebody who just needed to cry, cry. And it's amazing what music does to move you in so many new directions. Go out there, see the people that are making the music, see the people who are needing the music, and see what happens and see how it makes you feel. Think about if you could see yourself in the shoes of the therapist making that music with those people. I'm a music therapist for children with special needs primarily, and I'm also a singer-songwriter and a Berkeley alum. <laughs>